Balance Central usually has a calm working environment. Students come to learn, teachers come to teach. But lately things have gotten turned upside down. Join me, reporter Tim Liston, as we look deeper and further into this issue. Enter Clint Burney, sociology teacher at Fountain Central High School. Mr. Burney is in his second year of being a teacher. Usually Clint is a happy-go-lucky guy, but recent events have brought out a darker side in him. So describe me what you experienced in your classroom. Three days ago, I walked in my classroom as I'm taking a drink of water. Once I lower the bottle from my mouth, I'm overpowered with the smell of cheap men's cologne. At first I thought someone had sprayed it in the air, but then I went to sit down in my chair and I realized they had sprayed around the whole room. How did you react? I started questioning the students. None of them confessed to it, so that led me to believe that somebody who wasn't a student of mine ran in my room, sprayed it, and then left in between passing periods. It was a drive-by axing. Does the suspect have a name? We call him the Axe Bandit. And just like that, we have an alias, the Axe Bandit. The definition, one who goes to various classrooms spraying large quantities of cheap body spray. Did you manage to find any evidence of this event? Yes, I located a black body spray bottle. Whoa, what color did you say it was? Black, it's a black bottle. Black, huh? Well, that spray bottle from earlier was navy. Mr. Bernie, sociology teacher, our closet colorblind. We put our research team on the job. We're checking for background information via the intranet. Oh, there we go. We found his medical history. We can now, by law, consider Clint Bernie colorblind. So Mr. Bernie's in the clear. But what about that mysterious fluid he was drinking earlier? Mr. Bernie, innocent educator or frat boy on the loose? We sent our forensics team on the job. Looks like everything's good, just normal water. Looks like Clint got off scot-free this time. In order to get more information, I sat down with a few of Bernie's students to ask him more about the Axe Bandit. Enter senior student Sam Darvis. Sam has been in Mr. Bernie's class for four months now. So Sam, tell me what it's like the day the Axe Bandit struck in that classroom. Like, uh, what's cool, Tim? Uh... But like, on a real level, politics is whack. Alright, I'll go ahead and ask the question again. Like, my favorite hat is one that don't fit. This one's I. Right. So tell me what you physically and or mentally experienced the day the Axe Bandit struck. I didn't do it. Nobody said you did it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. What do you know about the Axe Bandit? I don't know nothing about the Axe Bandit. I come in here every day, do my work, get paid nothing. Oh, no, nothing! Nothing! No, no, nothing! No. Very good, very good. I'm a hardworking student. So can you tell me what you experienced in Mr. Bernie's class the day the Axe Bandit struck? Oh, I'm not even in his class. Uh, all right. Is it okay if I leave? Sure. Thanks. But when I thought all hope was lost, I remember what young Sam Darvis said to me. Like, on a real level, maybe Mr. Bernie's the one who stank, so he have to spray the cologne to cover himself up. Dude's nasty. 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 And just like that, we find a break in the case. Maybe Mr. Bernie is his own worst nightmare. We put him against a lie detector test to find the truth. We have a lie detector test for you to take. Just a paper with a question on it. This isn't a lie detector test. Would you just answer it? Fine. You're lying. 
What? Looks like we found our guy after all. Clint Burney is the X-Bandit. It was a positive day around here as we rejoice over catching the criminal. But for Clint Burney, a lifetime of shame and darkness has taken over. I'm Tim Liston, signing off.